Hey guys, in this video we'll be using Evoto, a next generation AI photo editor to transform our image. Evoto releases you from tedious works, sets you up to get thousands of photos processed with 10 times speed and remarkable quality, and helps you make your imagination free. And with no further ado, let's get started. Once you import your image into Evoto, the AI is going to automatically detect if your model is a male, female, child, elderly, or single. For this, the AI has detected that this model is a female. So, right here in the blemish remover section, we are going to use the Frico and Acne slider to remove the acne and freckles on her face. So if you move this slider all the way to the right, you can see that the AI is going to automatically detect the acne and freckles and remove them for us. So if you zoom in by 50% and hold on your space bar, you can see the effect. This was the before and this is the after. This was the before and this is the after. Still in the blemish remover section, you can see we have sliders like eye wrinkle if you move this slider all the way to the right you can see that it's going to remove the wrinkles on the model face or reduce it so if you move it all the way to the 100 it's going to have maximum effect on the model but if you move it somewhere around here it's just going to gradually remove it and still leave her face to be realistic so keeping realism in mind you're going to adjust your sliders to the range that looks best for your own image. Now, the dark cycle. If you move the dark cycle slider, it's going to remove the dark cycle under the model's eye right here like this and make her look more beautiful and healthy. Let's zoom in to see how this affects our image. So this was before applying the dark cycle and this is after applying the dark cycle. It automatically removes the dark cycle on the model's face and um, if this image contains multiple individuals it's going to remove the dark cycle on all their faces using artificial intelligence so if you move it all the way to 100 you can see the effect but somewhere right here is a sweet spot so find a sweet spot and leave it at that particular range so now let's fit on screen There are several other sliders right here we can play with. You can see this smile line. Now this is the smile line on the model face. If you move this smile line slider, it's going to reduce or remove the smile line. So you remove it like this, 100% to see the overall effect. And now move it around 60 like this. Find the sweet spot and you can see this was the before. Let's zoom in to see the before and the after effect. Here is the smile line. This was the before, and here goes. This is the after. So now let's take a look at the general before and the after. Hold down space bar to take a look at the before and the after. This is the general before, and this is the after. Let's zoom in by 100. General before and after. This was the before, and this is the after. Now from the blemish removal section, you can now go on to the skin retouching section. You have the smooth face skin using dodging and burning. So this is the dodge and burn technique, but this is going to be done using next generation artificial intelligence right here in Evoto. So let's move it to the right like this and take a look at our image. It's going to do micro dodge and burn on this image to smooth our skin in the most realistic fashion. So we are going to move this all the way to 90. And now let's take a look at the before and the after once more. This is just amazing. This was the before and this is the after. This was the before and this is the after. Uh, this is the slider at zero and this is the slider at 100. This is amazing. Now we can also do face smoothing by moving this slider like this 
this one we are not going to move it too much around 30 is okay now also this body skin smoothing while moving this slider we are going to smoothen the body just take a look at this section right here so we can smoothen the body zero 100 this is just amazing so this was the before and this is the after before and after before and after also you can adjust the complexion this is rosy complexion if that is what you are going for you can adjust this slider all the way to 100 you can see exactly what it does and now you can find the sweet spot this one we are not adjusting this slider right now we have the unify body complexion if your model skin is having multiple colors which is not desirable use the unify body complexion to adjust that particular issue you can also change your skin color right here to anyone you desire and you adjust the amount using this amount slider so this was the before and this is the after when you are done and okay with the skin retouching you can always come back to make other adjustments but for now let's move on to the eyes the eyes you can adjust the eye brightness using the eye brightness slider right here so let's zoom in to see how this affects our image also this was the before and this is the after all the way to 100 now somewhere around 60 hold down space bar press space bar on your keyboard this was the before this is the after apart from the skin retouching we can also change the background to enhance the background come to the background adjustment section in a photo in the background adjustment section you can see we have the clean solid background you can turn this on if you're, you want to clean your background now also the color banding remover there's banding on your image you can remove it and there's this background enhancement and you can use that to automatically enhance the background color of the image by using artificial intelligence to adjust the saturation and contrast of the image now we have the headshot background changer so you can automatically remove the background just by clicking on this you automatically remove the background change it to white this is transparent this is white this is gray black you can choose fabric you can come to the more section right here and you see several other background colors you can choose from and if you go through all the presets here and you don't like any of the background you can go to your section right here and now if you click on this plus icon you can come into your own desktop folder and select the background you want to add open and then it's added to your image just like this something like this so you can also adjust the edge let's zoom in so about 50 you can adjust the edge like this but for this image the AI did a very wonderful job so we are not going to adjust the edge so you can see how powerful a photo is it does most of the stuff automatically using next generation artificial intelligence technology so if you are okay with your retouching uh, you like the retouching you have done on this image we can sync that to other images now if we want to sync this retouching to these other images we have over four images here we have five images so you click on this particular image you've retouched now hold control or command on your mark if you're on pc you hold control if you're on mark you hold command now we select this other raw files select this one also select this and if you come to sync uh, if you click on the sync setting you can choose uh, which particular adjustment is going to be synced if it's the color adjustment you want to sync if it's the portrait retouching, the background adjustment, or the crop. Now we just made adjustment to the portrait retouching, so we are going to sync 
a portrait retouching we are not going to sync the background adjustment but you can tick or you can come to the filter and choose the default or adjusted select or any of the default you want so for this you are going to only apply the portrait retouching so click on save and now if we click on sync the effect is going to be synced to two images we selected so if you come to this image right now you can see right here is processing wow amazing you just apply the retouching we did to this image on this image this is a time saver and you can see how everything releases us from tedious work sets you up to get thousands of photo process with 10 times speed and remarkable quality and helps you make your imagination real it saves time and this is best for commercial weddings portrait headshot photographers who are dealing with multiple photos every day a photo is a helper for professional photographers not for amateurs and beginners in photography a photo is professional and high quality a photo charge based on the number of photos exported after payment you can log in with two devices and enjoy free upgrades there are no charges for exporting duplicate photos a photo is specifically designed for skin retouching and an average usage of 1200 photos per year is typically sufficient for higher usage it is even more cost effective compared to hiring basic adjustment allowing you to save up to 90 percent of skin processing time you can try out a photo and leave your feedback in the comment section when you are done with the whole process you come to export choose the folder where you want to export your image and now click on export to export that image there are no charges for exporting duplicate photos a photo is specifically designed for skin retouching and an average usage of 1200 photos per year is typically sufficient let's zoom in to see this effect in real time this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after this is magical and mind-blowing these are not just the adjustment you can apply you can see we can add other effects let me go in to show you other effects you can add uh, if you come to the makeup section you can come down here and add this particular makeup like this you can choose from makeup preset or you can come and add manually you can add new eyebrows you can add eyeshadow we can also adjust the amount down here like this for the lipstick we can choose a particular lipstick that matches the model and then we can adjust the amount like this also we can add contacts can add beautiful contact let's zoom in to see how this affects our image can add this contact or this contact and evato realistically adds this for you also we can add blushes like this let's zoom out can add blushes and adjust the amount we can add eyelashes wow this is just mind-blowing we can also do teeth retouching right here with ai come to teeth touch up now teeth whitening and voila if you just move this slider like this wait for processing move this slider we can adjust the brightness we can desaturate the teeth let's take a look at the before and the after this was the before and this is the after this was the before this is the after let's zoom in by 100 this was the before this is the after we can brighten the teeth the saturate adjust as much as we want also for facial reshaping we can go into all this so if you want me to go into more details on how to explore a photo let me know in the comment section right now try out a photo and let me know your feedback in the comment section like this video if you find it insightful a photo is very very suitable for commercial use so if you shoot weddings and you need a software to edit your photo that is very cost effective a photo is best for you
happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial